thank you all for joining me for another episode of Jay Plays. As you can see, we're back with Death's Door because I could not get this off my mind. Now, I have about the same amount of time that I had last episode, which is about an hour and 30 minutes to make some kind of progress in this game. So instead of spending all my time fighting this thing, I'm going to give it three attempts. Three attempts to kick his ass, and then we're just going to move on. Win or lose, we're moving on, and we're going to figure out what else there is to do because uh, I cannot spend another 90 minutes fighting the same creature over and over again. And maybe we're just not strong enough. So that is what we're getting into. I should also mention, I'm Jay Wright, and I want to thank you all for joining me for this adventure. Oh boy. I already feel a little bit slower, but maybe that's just the patience kicking in and not me needing time to reacclimate to the speed of this game. That was a lucky hit. I did not mean to swing that back at him, but it worked out. Here we go. Hmm. That's probably the furthest that I've ever gotten on him. And even still, I doesn't feel like he's close to dying. All right, here's attempt number three. Oof. 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 Okay. I know I said we're only doing three. However, I feel a little bit more confident in my strategy against fighting him. And that is wherever he's hit, roll towards that. Because obviously he's not going to hit there again. Or maybe he will. But it feels like he won't. I'm going to go for attempt four. Okay, attempt number four. Oh, no. Oh my god. Please tell me I, I deserve a big, large screen that says achievement unlocked beating the green damn giant. I deserve the biggest screen telling me that I did not just waste 90 plus minutes on this one average individual. This alone should elevate us back up to most basic, no not basic, we're done with basic, most badass crow in the land. Because I was not intending to beat him today. I was so certain that we were not going to beat him today. And now I see he's not as hard as, as he appears. It was, again, like every other enemy, figure out what, his, what the best strategy was for taking him out. And for him, it is seeing where he hit and then maneuvering yourself to go towards that area in a way. Because it's not completely that. There's all, It's a dance. It's like he hits... And you need to roll towards him. Like, being far away is not going to work. You need to roll towards him, but you also have to roll away from the gas at the same time. I wish I had a better answer than that. Yeah. All right, let's see what all of that brought us. What What freedom or amazing new gadget or toy or collection of souls we're going to get from this. More than 100, right? Right? No, of course not. Did all that for really nothing, and I'm still mad that our upgrade to our melee was really not that significant. This is going to lead to an area... Oh! 
Okay, we got a health shard out of it. That's not a bad deal. I think it's a health shard. The ancient shrine offers you a shard from a magic crystal. You have now two shards. Two more will raise your magic. Oh, so this is not even a health shard. I don't know. Whatever, we got it. So that's that. Let's move on to either another unexplored area or progression in the story. All right, well, we haven't done this before, so let's see where this leads us to. That is one thing I enjoy about the progression of games and getting new tools is finally being able to go to areas that you weren't to, weren't able to before. Wait a minute. I'm stuck here, aren't I? Or no, I just got to go down, I guess. But yeah, like seeing those areas that you initially were going past and you're like, I have no idea how to get to that. Or why is that blocked off to me? Which usually means you're going to get something later on, like this grappling hook that allows you to traverse it. And that's always a cool kind of throwback tie in to earlier times or newer times. Wait a minute, though. We must get even more tools because I've been seeing a lot of these and I still can't do anything with them. I don't think. Yeah, okay, I can't, like, blow it up or something. Which means I can't access that soul over there. Something like a teleporter, almost. I think we got over everything over here. I just wanted to be sure. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention to the fact that we only have two health to begin with. Why does that have a bomb above it? What the hell? This is new. I haven't done a challenge like this before, so that's new. Whoa. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. I'm slowed down. Maybe we should... Whoa, use his own attack against him? Or not. Not really going for that, is he? Come on. Oh. Oh, I rolled right off. Yikes. Yikes. Yeah, he's a new one. That is a new one. Did not know these challenges existed in the world. Uh, definitely try again. I don't know what we're going to get for it, but why not? Maybe stronger bombs? All right, there we go. <laughs> but he still got me on the last one, of course. Just took this man's head silent servant has been vanquished and their soul power added to yours your bomb spell no longer damages you only your foes that is useful i like that a lot that is really useful that's a good upgrade cool we need to be on the lookout for more doors like that there's so much more to this um world than originally expected You've certainly been keeping me busy. However, it's nice to have something to focus on. Sending the dead on their journey may seem like a depressing task, but it gives me a sense of purpose. Oh, well, maybe he won't want to die after it's all said and done. Now that he's got a, a renewed purpose and we get this world running again. Have we been down there before? I feel like yes, right? I feel like I've rolled down there at least once. Okay, we are back at the stranded sailor and i'm going to explore the area that i left unexplored before going into the castle i believe is just over here i think there may be one further back as well oh you gotta be kidding me okay well this one doesn't have gas so it should be easier should be Oh, 
Ooh, that was stupid. Uh oh. Yeah, that was dumb. That was me just rolling around way too much instead of watching where he was swinging. Not only does it help to be up close on him, but it also helps to wait for him to swing and then move instead of just rolling around a lot because you're probably going to get knocked around if you roll around a lot. Waited too long. Oof. Really bad. He's also one that you almost have to hit on every roll that you do. Or you should be able to hit on every roll that you do. And you need to do a lot of damage to him. So it's probably smart to do that. You found an ink-covered teddy bear. This would be very cute if it wasn't so disgusting. Alright, that's kind of effed up. You'd be very cute if, you know, weren't so nasty. Uh, Alright, so that area is explored. I'm going to go a little bit further back because I think there's one more spot we didn't explore fully as well. Yeah, it was over here actually. That's right. Around the bend. Which I think was just this. Found an adventure journal. It is very damp. The pages seem to be stuck together. I hope that's moisture. I hope that's rain. Hope the adventurer, a lonely adventurer out here in the middle of rocks and snow, didn't feel like he needed to keep himself company. And if he did, I hope he didn't just pick that book up. I fought one of those. Interesting. I can wake you up. Nope. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I almost walked right by that. We can actually swing over here from this side. Oh, that's probably what's going to wake those two up. Or, there's another silent boss or silent fight. Silent guardian, whatever you called him over there. He need help, though. Uh, before we go back, we didn't explore this awesome looking area over here. Oh, <sighs> oh Betty. Uh, beautiful Betty. <laughs> that is some strong stuff. Whatever the hell he is down like that. He should probably take a break from it. Oh, it's like a tavern. I guess in case there are fish guests, there's also a bed for them. I don't know if that's flowers or food. Got it. That's creepy. King fellow biped. My name is Jefferson, a humble bartender and seafood enthusiast at your service. Could these human hands prepare you a delicious meal today? Yes, you may. Great. One delicious meal coming right up. I sure do love preparing food with my multi-digited -dig mammal hands. I'm sure you do. Is he just cutting off pieces of himself? Now, let me tell you a little something while you ingest nutrients. Nutrients. A secret lies submerged beneath the moat in the estate of the urn witch we are tearing that tentacle stew up opening it will require bringing an open flame to the east gardens behind i gotta read in normal voice just to speed this up behind a powerful witch's house lies a secret accessible from the west side that's the best side 
To find it, you must look for openings in the hedge. Found that opening. I didn't find a secret opening, though. I mean, uh, passageway. I hear a mystery lies in the witch's bathroom. Okay, her whole house is full of secrets. Perhaps if you were to reflect on it for a while, the answer may reveal itself. That's all I have for you now. For now. The hell was that? Squid soup. All right, so keep gutting off your tentacles, I guess. Uh, let's let's go do the thing that we just opened up, and then let's go explore the the witch's house because I want to see those secrets. I don't see a reason to rush the main story of the game if there's cool little extra things we can do. Meanwhile, all right, who here for us to? Oh, we could have just went right here and got health, but this works out because we got some cool secrets. Oh boy. At some point, we're going to have to... That didn't work. Oh, he can do it, not us. I was like, why aren't we able to... That's cool. To each one of these, that means there's an arrow guy and a flame guy still left for us to uh, fight. You have the same attacks? Except for that... Okay, it is the same attacks. Cool. That is cool that they gave each kind of weapon like its own little mini boss to unlock and upgrade to it. That's pretty unique. Or if not unique, just creative and fun. And switches up the reason we're fighting enemies too, so that makes it more fun. I wonder if we can do something to him while that's happening. Oh! That was stupid. Oh! Yeah, he's not that difficult. That's just, it just takes time for him. You know how, like, we set the witch on fire in her cauldron? We haven't found another enemy where we could do something special like that. I feel like I'm missing out on those. Hookshot spell does now, wait, your hookshot spell now does a powerful slash if you use your sword while being pulled towards the target. I gotta try that out to see what they mean. All right, so I figure we work from our from the inside out. We'll start with the bathroom and then make our way to the gardens and then eventually to the lake. Okay, here's a bathroom. But it doesn't have a mirror. Maybe it's not this bathroom. Oh. Hey, oh, the mirror on the ground. That's interesting. So in the reflection on the bottom, you can see these vases. Of course, we just hit them. Now there's a door opened. That's actually really cool. Oh, snap. That's cool.
that was really cool ancient shrine offers you yeah these be the health right nope it's still magic fine that's fine uh i guess we have time for one more secret oh that's what they meant by a special attack that's pretty cool actually also i noticed that when using the sword I don't know if it's the enemies of the sword, but we are actually way more powerful than we used to be. We're one-shotting a lot of individuals that used to be multiple shots. Okay, so we can go over this area now. That's new for us. I'm not sure which secret this is. If we have to light the flame, then we know. Okay, nope, not a secret. This is just getting souls. We need to find where we light the flame at. Oh, is it right in front of us? Probably not. I don't think that's what it was. It. passageway what does that even mean wait can we walk on this this is water can't walk on it um Interesting. And I'm not thinking. Oh, I didn't even notice this opening right here. Oh, it's probably been there that entire time, and I just wasn't keeping my eyes. What do you know? Final magical one? Nope, that's a heart, right? Oh, no, it is magic. Cool, we've raised our magic capacity. Awesome. I think that's a pretty good stopping point right there. We did a lot more in terms of additional character development than I had planned to, so that works out. Pretty happy about that. Uh, when we come back, I think we will finish up the witch's castle secrets by finding what is submerged underneath her lake. And then we should be moving back to the uh, Lockstone Castle. I think it's Lockstone Castle. I don't know why I keep calling it that if it's not. But either way, I want to thank you all so much for joining me for this episode of J Plays. Hopefully you enjoyed us developing our character a little bit more and uh, enjoyed the episode. I appreciate you stopping by. I am Jay Wright, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Deuces.